Sheriff Masher has directed that we have a full-time patrol presence in the village of Oak Creek, and that will greatly reduce our response times and allow closer communication with the residents, business owners, and community members in that area. We do have a receptionist that's been there. She'll remain to answer questions or comments from the public up there. But now we'll have full-time staffing with a squad of deputies, a sergeant, and they respond generally only to calls in the village of Oak Creek. What we do is there's a lot of people that come up and, you know, they don't live here year-round. So this way we can give them an opportunity to get it. And also they can go out and look at the forest and start looking at trees because some forests don't have real big trees and it gives them a chance to kind of look around and explore. You know, they sell out every year, and we're usually out of them by mid-November before Thanksgiving. Get on the website and look at the maps of the different forests and what trees are available on the different forests. We've got a whole lot of reading material for them to go through, and it just works out better if we have a face-to-face -face meeting with them to go through all the contents of the packet and let them know what it is that's required. If they've had their voting rights revoked, their employer may have some sort of policy that doesn't allow them to run. So there's various things that we give them to check on before they actually start turning in paperwork. A decision that the voters can make to determine whether or not the expenditure limit, the amount of money we're able to put into our budget, is going to be based on what our actual needs are or based on a formula that was developed by the state. It's basically about how we can budget the money that we actually receive or that we project that we receive. Of course, if we don't get it, we don't spend any. But the voters have to do that. We can't do that.